All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek. And we've been looking at a lot of Transformer figures, bigger and better, but today we're actually going to go in the opposite direction and take a look at some from the Micro Machines collection and also the Jada Nano Machines. So, guys, let's go ahead and let's take a look at them. I actually got two of the mystery boxes from the Transformers Micro Machine. I got two sets of micro machine vehicles and then also i got the jada ones so let's go ahead and let's start with the micro machine mystery box all right guys so let's take a look at the packaging of this right here as you can see it says micro machines micro playset plus vehicle inside and it is for the transformer series as you can see micro machines there it shows here you can get a autobot or decepticon inside looks like a container just a straight block plain and simple there and pretty much it's the same thing here you don't know what you get until you actually open it up and see what it is which we'll be doing here in a few minutes with these sets let's see what we got out these were the only two i was able to find now i did find these at target and i thought they were pretty cool that they're actually bringing out once again the transformer micro machine line i do have a couple of sets of micro machines for the collectible ones but these here are not going to stay in the package. We're going to actually open these up and take a look at them again. As you can see here, you can see what you can actually do with them. At the top, they show the different series of Micro Machine vehicles that they actually have. And which ones you can actually pick up from Micro Machine, which is once again really cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at the other one there. There we go. And we got this one here once again with a couple of more figures here. A couple of bikes there. Another Bumblebee looks like. And it looks like we get a Megatron with this one in his tank mode, which is pretty cool. Once again, here it is on the back. The toy line itself and what to do with the figures. Once again, really cool. Now this one is another cool one right here. This is the first one before Micro Machine started doing it. This is the Jada one. Now, as you can see, we get a Starscream, a Bumblebee, and a Optimus Prime based on the original Transformer series. As you can see here, here are the three figures right there. They don't make any more of these guys. Now, I do once again have a lot of Jada figures as well from the Fast and the Furious Batman series and a couple of other ones. So, here you go, guys. Oh, but wait. Like I said, I do have the Batman ones, and I just picked this one up. And this is probably going to be the first one from the Batman ones that I do crack open to go on my Batman shelf. I've been debating whether or not to do it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start opening up my nano machines from Jada and putting them on my Batman shelf. So as you can see here, you get a Batmobile, the Bat Cycle, and the 63 Corvette Stingray that Bruce Wayne drove to the funeral. Once again, really cool. This is from the new Batman movie. So we're going to take a look at those as well. So guys, let's go ahead. Let's start opening up these packages. And let's start taking a look at these micro machines. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and let's start with these mystery boxes. And let's take a look at what these are actually inside. Let me go ahead and see if I can crack this seal on it. There we go. Go ahead and rip off the plastic. Oops. Put that back where it goes. Let's go ahead and get this plastic off. Get this out. There we go. We have the container now. So let's go see how we open this up. I want to make sure I don't break it. I wonder if it's like the Mega Bloks containers. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, we got one bag in there. We got two bags in there. Looks like we got some sheets and we can open this all the way up. So let's go ahead and let's open it all the way up. You gotta do it, make sure I don't crack anything because it doesn't show you if there's any particular way to open it. All right, there we go. See, we get some accessories here that actually goes on there. And what's over here? Get those out. And we also get this bag right there with some instructions and a little 
red transparent piece and in this bag here there we go we actually get a couple of other accessories and here is the transformer for this mystery set I'm guessing it's Sideswipe. It doesn't really say who it is. I don't have anything saying which figure it is. But it has a little logo on the bottom, which you use that red transparent slip to actually see it. Kind of like back in the day, which you use that little transparency to check out the abilities of the Transformers back in the 80s. They kind of brought that back here. But with this one, you're actually seeing whether or not it is a Decepticon or Autobot so hopefully my camera can pick it up it's not too small uh, if you can't see it I'm pretty sure you can but it, it does say Autobot there so this is an Autobot and I'm assuming it's gonna be like a side swipe figure here we got some stickers that we actually place on the set now how does this go here we got the instructions here now there's actually a few sets but I only managed to get just the two So let's see and how we put this together, how it properly goes as a playset. So let's go ahead, put it together, and come back to it. All right, guys, so here it is already set up, as you can see. Not that difficult. You just have to look at a photo and try to piece it all together. But it is actually pretty cool. I like it. It's going to go on my display shelf. And it gives me a place to put all the other minifigure, micro machine um, cars that I got right now. So let's go ahead and let's do the same thing with this one right here. Let's go ahead, put it together, and come right back to it. All right, guys. So as you can see, the mystery box, the second one, is of an airport. And it also comes with this small little jet, which doesn't show any Transformer logos on it. It's just an accessory for it which nevertheless is still pretty cool so that's those two right there now guys we still got some other micro machine sets to go through so let's go ahead and let's pull out one of the micro machine sets here and let's check out these other vehicles the transformers will return after these messages this is the Micro Machine Man, presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machine. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machine pocket play sets. There's a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. Perfect pocket portables to take any place. And there are many miniature play sets to play with, and each one comes with its own special edition Micro Machine vehicle and fun, fantastic features that miraculously move. Raise the boat lift at the airport marina, man the gun turret at the army base, clean your car at the car wash, raise the toll bridge. And these play sets fit together to form a Micro Machine world. Micro Machine pocket play sets, so tremendously tiny, so perfectly precise, so dazzlingly detailed, you'll want to pocket them all. Micro Machines are Micro Machine pocket play sets sold separately from Galoob. The smaller they are, the better they are. We now return to the Transformers. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and let's check out one of these other Micro Machine Transformer play sets here. We got this one here, a nice little background photo. So let's go ahead and pop this off right here. Let's see if we can get this off there. Get a seam started. There we go, got it open. Let's rip this back off so we can get to these little Micro Machines here and take a look at them. Oh, well, it looks like that's more than just a photo there. Let's see what this is. Let's see what's going on here. As always, it comes with one of those little red transparent decoder rings, you want to call it, whatever it is you want to call it. So let's pop that off real fast. Now let's go here to the Micro Machines find out what's going on i think this is some sort of stand that comes with it which if it is it's pretty cool that's actually something cool to actually display your micro machines on so yep it actually is a display for your micro machine vehicles which is pretty cool right there so guys let's go ahead and get these mini micro machine figures off here oh uh, they got these swissies which take a while so guys let's do some movie magic, some Hollywood magic, and let's get these micro machines off the display and onto the table. All right, guys, so we got them off those little twisty things. So let's check out these little minifigures. Let's move this off to the side. Let's check this out. 
these micro machines with their little stand here is star screen which is pretty nice and detailed for a micro machine as you can see here looks just like the large one almost except for the giant wheels but nevertheless still pretty cool pretty cool all right the next one we got, got another aircraft and this one is of jet fire as you can see once again really cool nicely done for a micro machine let's go ahead and move him off to the side now the next micro machine we got here this is i believe jazz which because i believe he's the only one that is a concept corvette but once again nicely done really cool and this one here we have of optimus prime and one of the variations of trucks that he was in the movie very nicely done this one looks like it's been through the desert and everything and it has that big opening in the back which hopefully i'm assuming that micro machine's actually going to make a trailer that'll be attached to him that once again would be really cool to have right there these are really cool so guys once again here goes the other set so instead of messing around why don't we just go ahead and jump to where we get them out of the box all right guys so we got them out of the package let's take a look first one up here we got i believe this is alita one as you can see a nice rendition of alita in purple very nice looking micro machine motorcycle here very cool now the next one let's get this one up they are hard to stand if you knock them over they fall over very easily so just be careful with them all right now this one here is of rc now rc is a pinkish purple motorbike once again very cool i like the way they actually to hold the wheel in they did that black thing there to give it that motorcycle look but trying to keep it as simple as possible with the micro machine very cool nevertheless all right now let's go ahead get her back up on our wheels next one we have here is of bumblebee now as you can see here this is bumblebee in the new corvette style the modern corvette which is once again really cool liking the way it looks there you go and the last figure we have here is of megatron now as you can see i believe this is his tank mode you can see the two wheels down there nothing in the front still very detailed very cool looking i like it it's something different that a micro machine is not used to doing with the transformers so once again they pulled it off very well well guys we still got a couple of mini figures vehicles to look at we got the nano hollywood figures so guys let's go ahead and let's take a look at those here right now the transformers will return after these messages the micro machine man here flexing my mighty micro muscles so i can lift an entire semi truck with one hand drum roll please Are you white the micro machine semi truck of course just part of this all new dramatically detailed stupendously styled collection of micro machines all smaller than enough this one or that one look at these fabulous flyers military custom classic stuff tanks 50 50s luxury limos awesome antiques best boats hot bikes and choppers and now these breathtaking beauties feature fabulous ultra fast wheels they really fly hey wait who turned out the lights i'll just turn on the micro lights touch them like so and the lights really glow they're micro lights what a bright idea the Micro Machine vehicles are sold separately in sets. Remember, if it doesn't say Micro Machines, it's not the real thing! We now return to the Transformers. Alright guys, so once again, here they are outside of the box. These are really cool. So check out this one first, of course, is of Optimus Prime. As you can see, he's got a little bit of chrome there in the back really nicely done it is a metal micro machine figure which is really cool scales pretty much with the micro machine figures really nice i'm loving it and let's take a look at the next one which is a bumblebee here now it's a little bit larger than you would think but it's still really cool as you can see here lots of detail for these mini figures of the jada toy toy line once again really cool liking this one a lot now we got one more in this collection here we got this one is of starscream in his g1 style which is once again an awesome piece to have since i have the movie starscream and the micro machines to actually have this one here to go along with them once again really cool these are some really cool figures i'm gonna have to make a shelf and the cool part is i can put a big shelf up and have tons of these little vehicles around now let's get into this one right here of the new batman movie once again this came with this here as a display thing i'm probably gonna save it and use it 
for a display. Who knows what we'll do with it? But right now we got the new Bat, the Batman vehicles here. As you can see, it's the 63 Vet, the Bat Cycle, and the Batmobile. Now, as most of you guys know, I am a big Batman fan, so I, of course, I had to get these. So let's go ahead, hit that movie magic, and get them outside of the box. All right, guys, so we come down to the final three Micro Machine figures in my collection, or do we? I do have a lot more, but that's for another video. So right now, let's take a look at the Batmobile from this movie. As you can see, it does have something on the roof. I'm not sure. We'll have to go ahead and clean that off one of these days. But once again, very nice detail by Jada Toys. This is a very nice looking Micro Machine version of the Batmobile, which is really cool. All right, let's go ahead and you can tell it's metal. This is not a plastic, this is a metal die cast car. So let's go ahead. The next one is of the 63 Corvette, which once again looks really cool. Now this one is one of the vehicles that Bruce Wayne drove around in. I believe it was to a funeral for somebody. He drove this up there. So that's why it's in here, which is once again really cool because there's not too many other vehicles in here except the two bikes which is this one right here is the bat cycle which is pretty much what bruce wayne rode around in when he was in and out of costume trying to hide and show up as batman which is once again pretty cool i like the take they did on the batman in that series but there you guys have it and with all the jaded toys it does come with this little display card that shows what it is for the, the for the box i think about keeping it to see what i can do with it who knows but guys that's where we're going to end this video for today. All right, guys. So once again, that's going to wrap up another episode of Toy Collector Review. I know we went a little bit long today, but we did have a lot of little micro machine cars that we need to look at and a couple of play sets. And to me, I think it's pretty much worth it. Now, when it comes to these micro machines and these Jada toy um, nano vehicles, do I recommend getting them? In my opinion, yeah, I do like Micro Machines. I've always been a big fan of the Micro Machines series, even when I was a kid. The detail in such small little cars and the very cool places that you can actually display this stuff. Or if you're a child like I was when I, they first came out, a thing to have lots of fun with. If you have kids in the house, it's really cool because you can get a lot of toys in such a small space, especially with these. And I guarantee they're gonna like playing with these little micro machine figures. Now the Jada Hollywood micro nano figures, whatever they're called, the metal figures, are they recommended? Yes, they look really cool. Once again, the Transformer ones are gonna look good on my Transformer shelf. The Batman ones are once again, I'm gonna look great with all my Batmobiles and Batman figures on that shelf. One of these days, guys, I'm actually gonna have to take pictures of all the displays I have in the house. Cause pretty much, now I know there's a lot of collectors out there that have way bigger of a collection than I have. And that is without a doubt, but I pretty much live, do live in a toy store because I do have a lot of variants on different collections. I don't just collect just Transformers or one particular toy line. I have, I dabble in a little bit in all the different toys. So I have a bunch of different stuff here in my house. One of these days, I actually have to get to it and do a video on it. But until then, guys, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a member of this channel. Hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified every time I put out a new video. And guys, share this video on all your social media platforms. And guys, if you like the content that I'm putting on this channel, go ahead and hit that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you guys who are watching this on Rumble, go ahead and smash that Rumble button. And guys, if there's anything in particular you guys would like to see on this channel, Go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will do my best to get that out there for you guys Once again, I'm sergeant geek and I'm signing off